Hello! Today I'm going to go through how to make an animated arrow with a transparent background in After Effects. So when you're in After Effects, the first thing you're going to want to do is click on New Composition. Then name it whatever you want, I'm just going to call it Arrow 1920 by 1080 and OK. So the first thing we're going to do is draw the path of our arrow with the pen tool up here. I'm going to turn the fill off and set the stroke to 10 and then use whatever color you want. So to do a straight arrow, you just click anywhere on your composition, then shift click somewhere else and it will make a perfectly straight arrow. So now we've got the arrow path, we need to animate along it. So to do that, you come into your shape layer, go down to contents, shape one, path one, then click on path here and come to create nulls from paths. So if you can't see that here, you just go to window and it's down at the bottom here. So yeah, with that selected, you press trace paths and now you get a null layer that follows the path of the arrow. So at the moment, it's just looping over and over again. And obviously we don't want our arrow to do that. So you come into the effect controls and turn off loop. I'm also going to make it last a bit longer than one second. So if you press U on your keyboard and then just drag the keyframe out to about two seconds and highlight them both, right click keyframe assistant, easy ease. So that's just going to make the motion a lot smoother. Okay, so now we need our arrow body to follow the trace path. So if you click on your shape layer, go to add, then click on trim paths, then go down into the trim paths menu, press alt on your keyboard and click on the end stopwatch. And then here, you're gonna drag this pick whip all the way to progress here. And it should follow the path. Awesome. Now the last thing we're going to need is the arrow head. So if you come over to layer, new, shape layer, then we'll click add, polystar, then one more, so we'll click add, fill, change the fill color to white to match the arrow. Now you're gonna come into the shape layer on polystar path and change the points to three because we don't want a star at the end of our arrow, that would be weird. Okay, so now we're going to parent this arrowhead to the null object so that it follows along the same line. So if you shift click on this pick whip and drag it to the null object, and there you go, it's paired it up. Now obviously it looks a bit weird here, so you just play around with the settings. I'm going to press W to bring up the rotation. And then press S on the shape layer to bring up the scale, scale it down. And there you have your arrow. So you're not going to want your arrow head to just appear on top of whatever work you're doing. So what I would do is highlight everything, right click, pre-compose, just call it arrow. And then at the start, press T to bring up the opacity, drag it down, place a keyframe, move forward a few frames, and then bring the opacity all the way up. And now your arrow will just nicely fade onto the screen. This is also good because now you can just duplicate this arrow and move it along. I'm pressing Ctrl D to duplicate and have as many arrows as you want. The last thing you need to do, if you want to use this arrow outside of After Effects, you're going to need to export it with a transparent background. So you would go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. In the Output module, I would change the format to QuickTime because it's one of the smallest file sizes and the video channels to RGB and alpha. And that's going to export it without the black background so you can put it over the top of your footage in any editing software. Okay, thank you and sorry about my sexy cold voice.